Welcome to my tutorial 1A Redo. It's a remake of the tutorial titled Two Objects Hit. We'll start by opening the tutorial 1 Redo and we'll move on from there using flash 8. This can also be done in using CS 5.5. The script will be exactly the same and I will be doing it with Flash Professional 8. Go over here and go Publish Settings and right here you want Player 8 and you want Action Script 2 and this will work equally well as what we're going to do on Professional 8. In Tutorial 1 we made it possible to move this ball around using the arrow keys. Now we're going to put some targets on the stage for this ball to hit. Open up your libraries panel if it's not already open you can pick it up here and click on it click on this new symbol it's going to be a movie clip and it's going to be called square s q u a r e square underscore m c and we're going to use our rectangle tool black stroke green fill and I'm holding my shift down and I'm making a little square. There it is. Grab my selection tool, highlighting it, going up to here, modifying it, and I'm going to convert it to a symbol called a button. S Q U A underscore B T N. That's my button. I'm going to go to about frame 90, insert a keyframe, and I'm going to take my button, my green button, my green square, and move it here. Back to frame 1, come down here where it says tween, click on it, and make that motion tween and you'll know it's going to work if you have this solid line with this arrow on it. Call this square. This layer square. Insert a layer. Call it action script. A S. Go over to the end. Insert a keyframe here at the last frame, in my case it's 90, and then in 91 insert a keyframe. So I have two keyframes. 91, I got it selected, going down to my actions panel. If this is not open, you pick it up from Windows and you click on actions panel or F9 shortcut. Open it up, this little tab here, click that, and just double click on the stop. That puts that in there for us this one here we want this to go back over and over over so this one will tell us to go back to frame one open the actions panel go to and play frame one. see the little hints frame one close that so this will go like this back and forth back and forth back and forth go back to scene one for a minute let's go back to scene one let's click on the ball layer lock all the other layers, lock all the layers, insert a layer called G R E green S Q as in green square. Select the first frame, drag that on and put it on the scene right there. And there's the center of the stage. Let's roughly put it here compared to where it was in our movie clip. That would be a good spot. We're going to write action script on it, so we need to give it an instance name. So copy this name here, copy it, 
and put it down in this paste it in there and let's see if this does anything right now there the ball the square is moving and I can do this eventually I'm going to hit it and make it disappear let's go back to make another movie clip down here it's going to be a movie clip let's call this rectangle R E C T rect underscore VTN it should actually be underscore MC later on in the video we will rectify that but you can change it now if you wish and make it underscore MC for movie clip Rect. okay let's give it a different color here I'm give it like a kind of a yellowish color grab my rectangle tool and make a long skinny rectangle pick up my selection tool highlight it modify convert this to a button to a button called R E C T A recta it's a button and on this first frame let's put it up here and let's go to frame 50 this time insert a keyframe and let's move it back down here so it's crossing down like that back to frame one come down here and give it a motion tween and there's my solid line which means it's working call this rec R E C just to give it a name insert a new layer action script gonna do the same thing here insert a keyframe in my case it's 50 and 51 insert another keyframe this will be the stop this one will be the go to and play frame one and we'll do one more before we go back to scene one introduce one more movie clip let's call this ov ov as an oval ovl we'll put a call underscore mc it's a movie clip ovl let's make an oval another color close let's make it a blue make it a long oval there it is there pick up your selection tool modify it convert it to a symbol button o v a l underscore b t n it's a button and this one here let's go to a hundred frames around a hundred insert a keyframe now we're gonna make this a multi tween so somewhere between 10 and 15 insert a keyframe and let's move it up just a little bit go to somewhere between 30 and 35 insert a keyframe and let's move it to the left here go up to 50 around here insert a keyframe bring it back down go to 6570 insert a keyframe pull it over here and there's back to the beginning now go to each of these sections click anywhere in here come down and tween it and again there's my solid line tween it tween motion tweens are oh, these are all motion tweens There we go. I think that's all motion tweens. All right. Call this oval. Insert a new layer. Action script. Go to the end of this timeline here. Insert keyframe. 
insert keyframe this one here my case is 101 open the actions panel that's where my stop is go back to this one my case is 100 actions panel go to and play frame one we have three moving objects let's go back to scene one we've taken care of the green one so select that green layer make sure everything's locked insert a layer and let's call this the rectangle r-e-c-t-a-n-g close enough a rectangle layer again lock all layers unlock the rectangle layer select frame one and bring that rectangle in put it right here that's where I'm putting it now copy this need an instance name copy paste it in place and let's just see what's going on now I have a rectangle and a square moving around let's lock that layer insert another layer call it oval O V A L click on the first frame and let's bring that oval in pick up the name copy it paste it as an instance name so now I have this one, two, three targets and a ball. And let's make sure all them targets are moving. Okay. Let's go down and look at the square movie clip for a minute. Double click on it. And the last frame, the stop frame right here, is 91. Go back to scene one open your actions panel and after this last test this last or this last test for the key right after that curly bracket before this one put a line in and paste this information and it says if the ball the same for similar format if the ball underscore MC period small h i t capital t e s t bracket square underscore m c two close brackets open curly bracket so if that happens if the ball hits our movie clip that movie clip called square underscore m c period go to and stop small g capital a capital s and stop at 91 and that's that frame that there's nothing on so let's test that out when the ball hits the square there's the square going I catch it I hit it and it disappears we're now going to write the same script for the rectangle and the oval so just click on that and grab those three lines right click copy enter paste and we're just going to write rec R E C T here R E C T and let's just copy that and paste it here and we gotta go back to rect to find out what its last frame was and it is 51 so you see how I did that? I went back to the movie clip, and it's frame 51 is the one we got to go to. Back to scene one, back to my action script, and in here, for the rec, go to and play 51. Excuse me, go to and stop 51. Copy this, actually, copy this. Click right there, enter, and paste the if statement for our last one which is the oval, O-V-L. So in here, O-V-L, and because it's quite short, O, 
the L. Go back to the oval movie clip. The final frame on that is 101. Back to scene one, action script, 101. Oh, you see, I got I put that in the wrong place. See how that's wrong? This should be up there. So I'm going to just copy all this, cut it, and it should be right here. Paste. Okay, that's better. And let's see what happens when I test my movie. Cut that one. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Why do you suppose that is? Well, check out the tutorial I have called Errors and Mistakes, and it would guide us through it, but I think I know what the problem is. If you look at my labels over here in my library, my symbols, I'm calling this wrecked a button underscore, even though it's, it's, um, it's, it's actually a movie clip. So I'm going to right click on that, rename it. And instead of being a button, it has to be a MC, a movie clip. Now, i got to go back to frame one. Select the rectangle layer. Select the rectangle. And grab this new instance name. Copy it. And paste it here. And this should work now. If I hit the, that one's gone. I caught up with him. He's gone. And I caught him. It's gone. I hope you learn something from this tutorial. I hope you use it. Save it because there's going to be a combination of these in the remake of tutorial three. It'll be called three redo.